This review was brought to you by Hard Target Tactical Training and Airsoft. Any place, any time, any threat. Airsoft Reviews TV, and this is the G&G G26 with electric blowback. Now, just to start off by saying this is a combat machine, part of G&G's uh, affordable series. This one has the pneumatic blowback system, so whenever you shoot, the uh, fake bolt cycles. It's pretty cool. Uh, this thing has the exact same internals, gearbox, uh, gears, everything, and motor as the G&G Raider right here. Look at our other videos. And they both perform really nicely. Uh, they're going around the, the 350-360 range. So uh, let's get into the details on this gun. It has a six position adjustable stock. The G26 is basically G&G's attempt of making a mag pull gun. Um, there's the uh, resemblance, it has a resemblance of the Magpul MOE handguard and the PTS stock. Some cool features about the stock is it has this soft cheek rest and this nice adjustment and it locks into place. Also, there's a, a compartment which I see little to no point for, but uh, you can stick a battery in there if you have a flashlight or something. This does not have a under rail. You can uh, mount a rail right there, and you can put a foregrip or whatever you want on it. The sights are pretty cool too. The front sight is integrated into the rail system, and the rear sight is a flip-up scar kind of sight. Both pretty nice, but I'd rather have a larger hole right here because it's, it's kind of hard to see through. To install the battery on your G&G G26, you will want to pull up on this little knob at the front, right above the flash hider. And this will release the uh, upper part of the handguard, and it will slide forward. Keep, your hand, keep pulling on this tab while uh, lifting up and pulling backwards. And the thing should come off like that. And underneath here, you'll find your Tamiya connector and your battery. See? Now to put it back on, you just reverse the process. You have to remember to keep pulling on this tab or else it won't go in all the way. You're going to push up on it, push down, and then back into place. And you're good to go. Now we're going to talk about the pneumatic blowback system. Every time you shoot, the uh, fake bolt will cycle like on a real gun, but it doesn't give you recoil or anything. It's just there for fun. And also, when you're done shooting, this gun has a functioning forward assist, so this is going to release the tension on your spring, so your spring won't wear down as fast. So we just push this and you'll hear the sound. Made kind of a little unwindy sound. Pretty cool. I wish my Raider had that because I think my spring is getting worn down. But anyways, this thing is chronoing around 350. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty accurate, good hop up. It's G&G, you know it's going to be good. It's basically just an upgraded combat machine. So uh, let's check and see how this thing's shooting. G&G &G D26, Matrix 0.20 gram BBs. G&G internals, you know it's going to be a quality gun. It's got good hop-up and range. The FPS may be low for a rifle, but um, I think that with G&G hop-up, there's no, you have no problem here. Um, the, the electric blowback is uh, pretty cool. It's a nice feature. Um, this, you can get this gun for $245 on airsoftgi.com. And uh, I highly recommend G&G, both the Raider and the G26.